Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Vince, and welcome back to Automation at Karkami Tycoon Game. And today, I have got a suggestion by the homie Slice Retro in my Discord. He says, Please make a 2014, a 2013 high performance sports car. Examples are Chevrolet C7 Corvette, Porsche 911 Turbo, Nissan GTR, Acura NSX, stuff like that. I have to keep it under 7 liters if it's NA or a 4 liter, t 4 liter turbo, and under 700 horsepower and a $75,000 budget, which is pretty easy to do I would say and this is the Rask D8 Rask is a company I literally made up like 20 seconds ago in my head they're Swedish and they're weird that's about it weird Swedish company we love it anyways this car has to be relatively cheap ish for being a uh, super car sports car thing so I'm gonna go with partial aluminum and obviously monocoque chassis because this is 2013 and then light HS seal for chassis material and I want to be front engine with a turbo v8 a really small turbo v8 trust it, it might be pretty cool so we're gonna go front longitudinal and we're gonna go double wishbone and i think i might go with uh i think i might go with push rod honestly i don't really care and then we'll up the quality just a little bit and for the engine we got to make it the rask e series the e the E series eight. There we go. And the variant is called the. Oh, that's stupid. That's that's literally dumb. Yeah. Sure, that works. And it's gonna be a 60 degree V8. Oh. The current engine does not fit, bro. We don't have an engine. I'm. Okay, whatever. It's gonna be a V8. It's gonna be all aluminum construction. A 3.9 is actually perfect, almost. Yeah, it's kind of where I was. Well, that's, yeah, it's exactly where I wanted to go. Dual overhead cam, five valve per cylinder, aluminum head. Obviously, we'll up the um, quality on that just a tiny bit. We'll have a balance shaft. I don't know, crank. Should I have like a forged crank? Sure, why not? Lightweight forged and lightweight forged. This thing's gonna sound pretty interesting. I want it to rev pretty high. So we're gonna make it a 3.7. And we'll up the quality on that a little bit too. Sure, we'll have uh, VVT variable, variable valve timing, sure. All cams too, which is two of them, four of them actually. Turbo, two of them, boost control. Yes. Actually, we can do smart boost. Smart boost. Yeah. And then we'll set the intercooler to like 700 horsepower because I, I want like 600 or maybe like, five, I, I want like 500 horsepower. I'm going in for like 500 horsepower in this car. And injection, direct injections per cylinder and we'll go with like a performance mid. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Or, yeah, oh yeah, that there we go. That's more like it. That's pretty cool looking, actually. I like that a lot. Um, we're going to give it, like, premium gas so we get a little bit more octane. And then we're going to go tur turbo short cast, dual exhaust. We'll do, like, two and a half. Yeah, two and a half inch exhaust. Bypass valves. Eh, sure. Why not? Press a button to make your car louder. Why not? Um, high flow freeway, catalytic converter, reverse flow first muffler, and reverse. Actually, we, we want it to be a little bit loud, so how about a none? Okay. 411 horsepower so far. We are knocking a little bit. Whoa. We get up the fuel and mixture just a tiny bit, and then lower the compression. 438 horsepower. Nice. What else we got going on here? Can we rev higher? Oh, we can rev to 9,000 re reliably, so that's pretty cool. Let's do that. Let's get up there. Oh, it looks like we make... This car wants to make more power up high, so this, that's good. Oh, yeah. This, this car's a rever, man. Because of that small engine. There. We'll rev the 9,000. And then, because we rev the 9,000, and we're kind of just, you know, dying right there where you... you where's the... This is, like, where the power band should be right here. Like, from 6,000 to, like, 9,000. Like, 8, 85. Right? So we're going to have to up these a little bit make that go a little bit higher and because we got all that power up high i'm gonna up the cam profile just a little bit which we can which probably means we can we can up the compression just one click now let's look at the compressor map wow that is weird why is it like that we need a little bit more boost but whatever's going on with this flatness i, I don't know what's going on there how about we get that this going on there we go so now we're in now we're always in... Oh. Bro. What the heck? 
Yeah, th that's like right on the edge of everything. That's so weird. I never seen a turbo be like that before. Okay. Juicer. Oh, okay. We need to make it spool a little bit later. There we go. A little bit later, it goes beep, bop, boop. And we do some of that. Okay, boost is fine. But we need this to go there. How do I do that? Like this? Huh. I don't know how to turbo. Still. Still learning! All my power's gone now. Uh -huh. Oh, who killed all my power, man? Yeah, how about we just get like 20 PSI of boost right there? And then tune it. Hopefully it does something. And hopefully the turbo doesn't fucking explode. Like what's going on right now. Uh-huh. Lower the boost. Okay, we can't lower the boost that much. That's racist. Oh, look, there we go. It's so far out that way, though. Like, stop doing that. There we go. That's weird. Now we're going to have, like, a gazillion horsepower, probably. Watch this. 492. Oh, that's, a, that's actually where we want to be. Okay, cool. I like that. And we make our peak power at 7,500 horsepower. Uh, 70. Whoa, that would be a lot of horsepower. 7,500 RPM. Not 7,500 horsepower, because that would be a little bit crazy. Oh, we can up the compression quite a bit. That's nice. 510 horsepower. That's pretty good. What's our gas mileage look like? 19%? That's actually really good. It's kind of weird. Um, Let's see else, what else we got. We can get... I don't know. Intake stuff. Yeah. We can up the quality a little bit on a bunch, all of these. So. Yeah, let's do that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. There's our engine. It's not going to have a VTEC looking thing. It's going to be basic and be covered with plastic like every other car in the world. Let's listen to this. Wow. That's really loud. It's really loud because every damn car in automation is so freaking loud now. And I want the spoiler. Yes, I do want that little built-in spoiler. That's pretty cool. I kind of want to be not that. I want to be flat in the back because I'm going to delete this whole like bottom part and make a nice uh, custom thing going on. I want a nice large thing going on there. I'm taking that out anyways, the whole thing. I'm just going to smooth that out. I want, I want nice hips on this car. Ooh, that'll be, that's cool. Kind of have like a little bit of a, kind of like a fastback almost. That's cool. It's going to be a cool look. Do I like that? I don't know. And how for the front? Okay, I'll figure something out. Make it a little bit wider in the front. Have like a nice something that ties in this fender to that fender. I can definitely make this look something like something pretty cool. Anyways, it's gonna be rear wheel drive. Yeah, finally. Um, and it's gonna be a dual clutch or a uh, auto manual. Is that the the clickety do? That's the clickety do, isn't it? And okay, then I'm gonna have like a six six speed clickety do. Yeah. Actually, they could do seven. I feel like seven would be more realistic. Okay, um, two hundred. We'll gear. We'll gear to like two hundred twenty-nine, even though we're not gonna get anywhere near there. Um, probably gonna go like on like two hundred, like ten, maybe. Um, differentials. They are geared. Actually, electric is better than geared. Okay, weird. And then for tires, we're gonna go radial sports compound tires. And uh, it's as it says it. It's broken out. It says it. The recommended width is 195, but I'll go back and do that. And we're going to have carbon ceramic brakes in the front. Actually, eh, that's a little too much. Here, we'll have, like, vented free piston in the front. And then vented two piston in the back. And then we can have, like, a semi-clad under tray. And a little bit more cooling airflow. 
lot more brake airflow because brakes I always have problems with brakes and someone said brake airflow I'm like oh that's cool I'm gonna go with a sport luxury or premium yeah sport premium um yeah just all this stuff because it's a modern car up the quality of that make it a little bit lighter it's 3700 pounds I want to be not heavy but you know what can you do cars nowadays are freaking heavy so oh look oh wow this car is like perfect almost already it's in the hyper category track category super sport light sport 24 miles to the gallon dude car kind of kicks ass I'm gonna hold the car for for now to see how much it costs. Eighty-two thousand. Okay, so it's a little bit it's a little bit expensive, just a little bit. So, what I'm gonna do about that? I don't know. What am I gonna do about that? A little bit expensive. Uh, look at say I just kind of bent the rules of the challenge just a tiny bit, because I kind of like how I made built this car. Um. 235 is the recommended width, so I'm going to keep it at 255 since everything here looks alright, I guess. And then, what's the spacing look like? Whoa. Damn, you're going to be, like, shifting so many gears. Get that spaced out just a little bit. Here, we need to, like, we need to up that top speed like crazy. Have, like, a bunch of overdrive. Yeah, that's too much. That's too much overdrive, man. Only the only seventh gear should be overdrive. There you go. First gear needs to go like 40. There you go. There we go. I like that. It'd be shifting a lot though. Huh. Weird. Rear dampers are hard. I mean it's a freaking car, man. It's a sports car, supercar, sports car. I don't know. Anyways, I'll design this and I'll be right back. And all right, here we are with the 2013 Rask D8. I didn't figure out a trim level for it, but this is like the this is the cool one. Like, look at that. Does this look pretty sick? It looks pretty sick. I think it looks pretty sick. I like the I like the alloy wheels going on here too. And then uh yeah, here's the back. We have a Need for Speed plate because why not? There it is. I also did like a really quick interior. It's not really anything cool. Anyways, I'm going to take some pictures of this, and I'll see you guys over in BeamNG. Okay, so here we are in BeamNG, and here is the car. The Rask DA8, the Dibit Stroke. Okay, let's try to drive. Ooh, listen to that. that. That sounds way better than normal V8 in this game. Aw, oh, come on. Electronic stability control, what are you doing? Okay, now we can go.
Look at that. That was cool. Let's see how fast we can go first. Okay, there's 150. Seventy, okay. One seventy five. One eighty. Oh, that doesn't look good. We can basically do one eighty in that spot right there. My fault. Okay, let's take it on some roads. Whoa! That was random. That was some random oversteer. Turn left. Turn right. Go over the curb a little bit. Yeah, sure. The tail lights don't work. What the heck? Why did it not work? Yes. Break everything on the curbs. Nice. Okay, so realistically, this car would be owned by someone who lives in this kind of house, right? So, you know, you back in to your garage. Boom. You come out in the morning and you're like, you know, I'm so fancy. Look at my new car. And you go, you rev it twice. Just like that. Oh, listen to that turbo. Let's go up this hill. Perfect stun. Okay. I'm gonna take this to the track and I'll be right back. Okay, let's go. Let's get this going. I'm actually concentrating kind of a little bit. That makes no sense what I just said, but whatever. Break right here. Yeah. The stability control is kind of saving my ass right now, because I'm a horrible driver in this game. Oh, that sounded good. I promise to remember a picture of a cat this time, so here you go. No! I'm not taking the cone. I'm taking the cones with me. Oh. Well, I, I think we, I st we still got one of them, right? No! 
This could have been a good lap. I don't know the stability control just stopped working, I guess. 139, even that's not too bad. Take like 10 seconds off of that. Yeah, it takes like 10 seconds off that and it's like a 129. It would be like, yeah, this would be like the third, third car. Nice. Anyways, until next time, I'm Vince. I'll see you guys later. Gotta go, my planet needs me.